<laughs> I finally read the directions, you guys. Uh, 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 one thing after another. I aligned it myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Just go straight turbos and happy juice. <laughs> A grande americano, please. Oh, you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, perfect timing. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the vlog, and thank you for tuning in. Right as Studio RSR starts closing up shop, we get here to start working on Mimi. <laughs> so freaking loud. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> Man, you guys got a lot of BMWs here. What do you do? Start with BMWs or something? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wheels on uh, burgundy cars. Cause I mean, I'm looking at running my RCG4 NKs on Sunfire. The gold ones I have on Poop Trade right now cause I kind of love that look. But part of me is like- Sunfire? The Subaru I bought. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. What I was gonna bring by here and then we broke down on the way. So I had to call AAA. Like the third time I didn't know what your car was called. And you watched the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what this one's called? The Junkyard build? No, Mimi. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I was looking to do the gold RCG4 NKs that I have on Poop Turd now to put onto Sunfire. I really like that gold and kind of like red copperish look. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. I could also have them powder coated white, and it'd also go a completely different option. Let me know. We got some goods though. We did get some stuff in the mail. Let's see, let's see, let's see. You guys want to just go ahead and open up this vlog with a nice unboxing? Let's do it. I'm really excited, you guys, because we're going to be working with Dishworks on Mimi. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> so we're going to be sticking with the tank in the car, but then also running a surge tank. And let's get this open. This thing looks nice. Man, I'm excited. We're, about, we're going to do the install on this today. Have a good one. Later. Well, that's a pretty nice surge tank. I think we're going to have some fuel. I sure hope so. I think we're going to have plenty of it. That right there is going to drown. That. <laughs> I look forward to it drowning that so that when we need the fuel, we know we have it just by running the setup up front. Yeah. I mean, look at this, you guys. We have three fuel pumps. Three. Trace. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see if I can cut myself. Yeah. Oh, that's the inline. Yeah. Ooh, schnazzy. And here is the second Dishworks box. The lines and wow, all these nice fittings. Very nice. Some dash six lines. These must be the dash eight. And then here are the fuel pressure regulators for the fuel pumps. So this is brand new. Dishworks just rolled this out and did a press release on this. This is a triple pump, 5.5 liter surge tank. You guys, this can fuel up to and beyond 2000 horsepower. So we will be good with this. This is why we're starting with this so we don't have to worry about it down the line. Take her top off. Mm. Twist? No, I think it's just got a good seal. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I gotta figure out how to get it apart. Was there literature? <laughs> There's always directions. Oh, nope, I got it. The question is, do we read them or not? No. <laughs> nope, the stuff inside. Oh, goodies. Oh, oh Nelly. Oh, that is that nice is so piece. Nice. Wow. I almost feel bad to put this beautiful thing in that ugly car. I actually would agree with you on that. <laughs> Aside from the Chevy motor and that Buick, this is the nicest thing. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so you're on the smaller pumps. Oh, they thought of everything. Chingadiras? Which, if you guys don't watch the channel, you knew the channel Chingadiras is a technical term? Very much so. <laughs> oh, heck, they even give you plugs if you only want to run one pump. Nice. In case you guys are at home wondering why we need to run a surge tank, the purpose of the surge tank is to prevent sloshing in fuel and also any fuel deprivation. So this is exactly what we need. We can also run more fuel pumps as we go up in the horsepower band as well. I like it, it's orange. Yeah, me too. Oh, and it is E85 compatible. So this is what it looks like all assembled. You guys, we have the three pumps are all wired. We're only gonna be running off one pump though until we get more power. This is super nice for off-road use only. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I too like jokes.
pressure regulator inside the bay right now. We ran the lines underneath, and now we're just trying to decide where exactly we're going to run the filter and in line pump. <laughs> we're working on it. Made a list and we've been checking it twice. We've kind of been drawing out how exactly we're going to run the fuel system on Mimi. We need to get some more mounting hardware and a couple more AN fittings. We want to get some nice little clamps to properly mount the lines underneath the car. And we're not going to disassemble or take apart the old fuel pump just in case they start welding tomorrow until we're ready to completely swap out the pump, which we need the hardware to do. So we'll do that tomorrow. Don't mind my spelling. <laughs> he spelt um, hose as house. Hey. <laughs> I could build you a car. I don't, can't spell car, okay? <laughs> Did you know race car forward is the same as race car backwards? Nope. Now you do. <laughs> That's a new one. But I think we're at a good place right now. We know where everything's gonna run. The fuel pressure regulator, everything's already assembled. Lines underneath. We have the surge tank already assembled. And we have the inline pump and filter already assembled. We're ready to go. All we're missing right now is some mounting hardware. We got our list. Let's go get our pizza box. <laughs> All right, let's go get some parts. Sweet. <laughs> mounting hardware will be here soon. We got most of the dash taken out. I think what I'm gonna do next is pull out the steering column. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you got a sneak peek, but I have something really cool to show you. But before I grab that, I'm gonna need this uh, for tomorrow's video. <laughs> So in a perfect world, to get everything that I'd like to get done today is that we finish mounting the fuel system. We're still missing a couple of AN fittings before we put power to it, but at least we have it run, everything is mounted. And then on top of that, we replace the steering column. I have a super cool lightweight drag racing one. I'm excited to show you. And then we also installed the clutch pedal. It's a little bit of a zoo in here because they're taking some final measurements for the cage under the dash. So that'd be an ideal scenario. Let me show you guys the parts now. So much motion racers for coming on board with Mimi. I'm so excited to be running their steering column. You guys, check this out. This is the new steering wheel for Mimi. It is so lightweight and feels so good. We even got some nice little buttons for her. The steering wheel in the column weighs seven pounds. It is super lightweight. They also, in the steering hub assembly, included gushers. I love you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> but I'm, I'm really excited for this. You're the true hero. Straight. <laughs> we will be saving 20 pounds just with this steering column and wheel alone. Weight is everything when it comes to drag racing, you guys. I should probably lay off the Cheetos. <laughs> Would you believe it? This is the first car that it will actually have a quick release steering wheel in. They included a strange SFI certified quick release. So you guys, I've been in the car seat for so long and I've never actually had a quick release. I like finagle my way into my S14 every time. Thank you Motion Raceworks. Thank you D-Shorks. Let me show you the clutch pedal. further for the viewers at home how cold would you say it is in the shop sub 30 <laughs> yes <laughs> I just put it okay I just had to put a second pair of socks on oh you got a second pair of socks right there <laughs> I got the double blacks gotta get me some of those little like break them hand warmy thingies to keep in my pocket I don't know what they're called that's the what'd you say the ching -a dingus term <laughs> uh bitch mittens no those are gloves <laughs> so when it comes to clutch pedals on the G body there is not many options a lot of people run the S10 clutch pedal however there's a lot of chassis flex in the firewall of the G body so it's not exactly recommended for high horsepower that's and I found Bernie. Bernie makes a custom pedal and bracket for the G-Bodies and he owns a six speed Monty. So I'm excited to give this a shot. The only thing I'm really missing is a manual steering box. I'm looking for one out of an S10, also a Pitman arm. If anyone has it, please let me know if you want to support the channel, I'll buy it off you or whatever. I did find one on eBay and the guys don't want to ship to California. So let a girl know, please. <laughs> And this <laughs> is the new hotness, old busted, super light, super heavy. Automatic brake 
pedal. Clutch pedal. We're gonna have to cut the brake pedal in half. How's your hand feel? It hurts. You walked with the hammer like six, seven times. I thought it was only three. <laughs> Maybe it went numb after the third. <laughs> Maybe it just didn't want to think about it after the third. <laughs> Now we get to mount the super nice Woolwood Brake Master cylinder. Oh, oh. And then we still have the rear brakes to do, which we'll do when we do the nine inch. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding about the shirt that has your face on it. That just says, mm hmm. I'd wear it. <laughs> All right, and this is how the new clutch pedal is going to fit on the brake bracket. <laughs> We did have to remove the Grant steering wheel horn, but now we got to replace it with the super cool, super flush Motion Race Works. All right, let's put the wheel into Mimi. Oh, she's gonna be so happy with her new dress. Come on. Oh, 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 whoa. This is cool. This is cool. So now I think we need a button for nitrous, a second button for nitrous, and a third button for, oh, sh <laughs> the funny thing is now, I have no ignition. So we're gonna have to now wire a way to turn over the car. Just touch the two red wires. Little past tech. This is cool. I love eliminating electronics. This is race wheel. I also have to comment, this stripe, I don't know exactly where it originated from, but I know it's a supercar thing. Do you know where it came from? Rally, I would think, would be probably the best bet. So they know what direction the wheel is? I would think the rally drivers would really want to know. Hey guys, comment below if you know, so I don't have to spend time Googling it. All right, but we did get the column in. We do have the wheel attached. We can't mount it up because, well, I don't have the manual steering box. The problem is we're gonna have to cut this rod to the proper length and then weld this joint on until we know exactly where the final resting place is gonna be. We're just gonna leave it like this. And then brake master is good. And now storage tank. Should I mount that up? Yes. No, I need to no. take it home with me you and put it on one of my cars. Uh. <laughs> you, know, you, you were just talking about this desert trip coming up for New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that car needs that much fuel. Need to do some off-road testing with the product. The problem is, is if I got my hands on a surge tank like that, I'd have to buy a bunch of parts to go in it. <laughs> Bigger turbo, some nitrous. And we are going up. Are you guys looking for the gas tank? Yeah. Oh, it might be there. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm going for a ride. Okay, I think we have an engine in the front to counterbalance yeah. my weight. Is this the rating on their lifts? <laughs> <laughs> Miles got some it's, new suspension goodies in there. It's see? kind of a, a cool view from up here. Not gonna lie. Hey, you guys ready to go? Let's go home time, right? All Let's right. go, throw up lights. <laughs> All right, surge tank ah. is installed. She's not going anywhere. Right next to the nitrous bottle. Love it. Mm. 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 Still not the fuel tank. No, I haven't found it yet. <laughs> <laughs> that fits nicely. Uh-huh, almost like it was meant for it. <laughs> so we've accomplished a lot today, actually. It's getting really co cold, my nose is starting to run here. We assembled the surge tank, we ran the lines, we mounted the surge tank, we also removed the steering column, replaced that, put in the wheel, we did the clutch pedal, we did the brake master cylinder, we did a lot. We are going to end here, though. We ran the lines up into the trunk to the surge tank, we mounted the inline pump, we're gonna probably have to end up mounting the filter here, we don't have anything to mount the filter with, or we'll run the line through here and go back up, but we don't have the mounting hardware quiet for that. And then we'll drill a couple more uh, lines up into the floor to the surge tank, but I'd say we got a lot done. Silly car. <laughs> I'm excited for this. I'd say a couple more days, we could probably do a first start. And then we're gonna have a guy come to do the drive shaft. Hello. We're thinking out loud right now. Can you make it whistle? Do you think you can blow? <laughs> Hello! Hey, hello! Hello! Vroom, vroom, vroom. This is going to be the stopping point for the holidays and then after the holidays, you guys won't notice it because I've been stacking content, but after the holidays, we'll pick up where we left off and hopefully get our first start soon. Teamwork, very nice. <laughs> Holy huge truck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can stand under your side view. <laughs>
<laughs> oh god, this is huge. That's what she said. You know what they say about someone who drives a big truck? <laughs> All right, drive safe. Always. Feel free to run over Priuses, just not mine. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your help. All right. Uh, I'm starting to count the days a little bit until my vacation. I'm going to Mexico. It's gonna be great. I haven't taken time off like this in a long time, but tomorrow's the last day before I leave, and tomorrow I'm going to be working on the Subaru, and uh, well, you guys know we're always gonna have some fun, but I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so happy and excited with the progress of Mimi. If you have anything you wanna see, more technical, more goofing around, you have a funny prank I could play on Sandy in the big truck, <laughs> let me know, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna support the channel, shop at AmeliaHarper.com. And I know this will be after the holidays, but I hope you guys had great holidays. Iku, we out here with love. Bye. <laughs>